Only on Fox, Oregon Stop Pizza is a staple here in the Valley, and the man behind the pipes has been entertaining families for decades. But lead organist Lou Williams is getting ready to retire. Fox 10's Danielle Miller and photojournalist Eric Corrales caught up with him to find out the secret to his success and why he says it's time to call it a career. First time, awesome. People who come here for the first time are just amazed. It's the music, and the food is really good too. I really had no idea what to expect. I was just hanging on for dear life and hoping it would keep going, and lo and behold, it has. It definitely has. For a few decades now, 42 years to be exact, Lou Williams has been entertaining families as they enjoy each other's company, a hot slice of pizza, and of course, their favorite tunes coming from the 82 piped organ. It was March 1979. Lou was just 25 years old. He was offered the job at Oregon Stop Pizza. He took it and moved across the country. At that time, I um, alternated between the Phoenix Organ Stop, which was at 7th Street in Missouri, and the Mesa Organ Stop, which was at that time right at the canal bank across from Friendship Village. That job offer quickly turned into a long-lasting career, a career Lou says he's ready to retire from. feel that Everything has a lifespan, everything has a productive time length, and things only last so long. People have lifespans, buildings have lifespans, jobs have lifespans, and after coming up on 40 plus years of doing it, I began to feel that it was time to step back and to have somebody younger step in, continue on with younger ideas, and, uh, and, and take the goal. Although Lou has decided to say goodbye to his nine to five, he says he'll never stop playing the organ. It's a love that won't go away. A love that started when he was just a young boy. In those days, uh, I'd get on my bicycle and go down to the appliance stores because they had these little amplified reed organs that were about like that. And you could just turn them on and play them. And I used to go in there. And they finally told my parents, you know, get one of these for your damn kid, get him out of the store. And so I got one of those when I was 10 years old at Christmas. And I started piano at 15. And then I went through two college degrees and some uh, postgraduate study at the Conservatory of Geneva, Switzerland. When asked what he'll miss the most, Lou's answer, the people. I think I'll miss the, the, the reactions of the people. You know, when you have a really good crowd and they're with you and you're playing to them and they're responding to you and there's a very direct line of communication right there. That is something that you really don't get anyplace else. The people say the feeling is mutual, but the show must go on. I'm really going to miss it. For all of the Lou fans, don't be too heartbroken. He's not saying goodbye forever. He will be filling in as needed. Danielle Miller, Fox 10 News. That was a heck of a story. Lou, we wish you well. He, he wove in Queen, Star Wars, all kinds of stuff. I mean, my jaw is on the floor. That, that is really cool. That was so moving. I want to go see him. And yeah. if you want to see him as well, you still have a few days to do that. Uh, you'll get to see him perform there. His last official night behind the keys is Friday night.